if she had been a nappy head, she wouldn't have gotten no thirty million. <laughs> she got a damn uh, 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 a month supply of McDonald's for fifty thousand dollars because she's a half breed. She's a must. They gonna give her thirty million dollars. The person you just heard speaking the boss talk was a West Coast OG Pyru Aotola Marv. Now he's claiming that he knows the real reason why Diddy put his hands on Cassie and what Cassie did to Diddy that we don't see on camera. Now, before I let you guys know what his exact reason is, I do want to let you guys know this is the same dude who claims that Michael Jackson passed away in 1979. Elizabeth Taylor took Michael Jackson to the party. Okay. In some kind of way, in the party, it was induced in Michael Jackson OD. Really? In 1979? 1979. So you saying, did he, did he pass away in 1979? So I wasn't there. Okay. I'm going to tell you what I heard. You know what I'm saying? Allegedly. Allegedly. Allegedly, Michael Jackson was deceased in 1979. When Las Vegas found out about it, they said they could not have a pop icon die in Las Vegas. They had just lost the R&B king, Elvis Presley. The reason why I prefaced it with that particular clip was just to let you guys know exactly what we're dealing with here. Now, the OG is really sharp. But certain things, man, you know, can be called into question, all right? I particularly don't believe that Cassie did anything to provoke Diddy to deserve that. Just like I don't believe that Michael Jackson died in 1979 and they was able to conceal his death for 30 to 40 years, because I don't believe it at all, right? So, Ayo Tola Marv claims that when Diddy is caught on camera whooping Cassie in the hotel hallway, that moments before, Cassie allegedly robbed Diddy. Well, he drug her down, you know, for a second. Then he kicks her. Then he grabs the bag. Now he's running on another part. You know, so it's just a lot going on to this, this whole videotape. So I'm just trying to figure it out. We just, like I said, I thought I, I heard you earlier. I would have got uh, reality TV back on here because I know she'd have had a lot to say. Well, yeah, well, uh, allegedly, you know, I, I don't, it, you heard it from me, but allegedly uh, from New York, some people close to, to Diddy, this is 2016 when he first started dealing with uh, the lady, and allegedly he was in the shower when he came out. Of yeah, 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 because yeah, he was, it was a towel wrapped around him. It, and allegedly he was in the shower, she got dressed. He came out of he came out of the, out of the shower. She was gone. His Rolex and a hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Here's why I don't believe this at all. First off, the obvious, right? Cassie gave her account of the story, and I believe that Cassie, right, just from this entire scenario, she's more credible than Diddy. Cassie told a story of Diddy got really drunk while they were in a hotel, and he began to abuse her. So when he went to the shower, she tried to make her grand escape out the hotel room, out the hotel to seek help, but he caught her before she could leave, right? And he abused her and threw glass vases at her. So I believe Cassie's account of the story. But even if I didn't, Cassie isn't some type of hood booger, hood rat that Diddy met at the strip club the night before, and he was just busting down, right? So she, you know, when he went to bed, she tried to steal from him to leave. You no, know, this was his long-term girlfriend. Cassie and Diddy was dating for 10 plus years. Right, this is some type of dude that you rob, right, on a one night stand and he don't even know your name and you can get away with it, right? Cassie wasn't broke. Cassie was an established artist, established actor, and she didn't need to steal a hundred thousand dollars in a Rolex watch from Diddy. Did you say a Rolex? Uh, allegedly, his Rolex and a hundred thousand dollars was gone, so that's why he grabbed the bags. Wow, but you know, now, now you know. The way he, it don't it don't excuse the fact and and the, and this now we're talking about a billionaire. Diddy is a billionaire, so a hundred thousand dollars ain't no money to Diddy, man. He wasn't, he wasn't a billionaire in two thousand sixteen. Ah, he had some money in twenty sixteen though. He had, he had some money, but I kicked the shit out of a nigga for a Rolex. I mean, for a Timex, let alone <laughs> Rolex. Yeah, well, you, but but you, now you gotta realize she ain't but about a buck oh five, man. Even the description of this story doesn't really make sense at all. Yes, Diddy grabbed the bag from her, but Diddy intentions was stopping her from leaving. As she tried to crawl and leave, Diddy was grabbing her back and pulling her back. 
So, yes, Diddy was concerned about the bag and who knows what was in the bag, but Diddy was also concerned of making sure she doesn't leave the building, right? It's not like Diddy caught a thief in the act and got his belongings and let the thief go or, you know, kept the thief there so he could call the police. No, Diddy was beating his woman and abusing her, right? Now, I do believe that Diddy, you know, probably told people this is what happened. Right? I do believe that Diddy is probably out here lying behind the scenes trying to cover up for his tracks. I don't believe the OG is just making this up out of thin air. I do believe he was probably told this by somebody's in Diddy camp or Diddy himself. I don't care. He, he, you ain't got to be uh, uh, 300 pounds to steal from me, boss. I feel I, I get it. I get it. But this man, like I say, and in 2016, he was high. He, if, if he's ain't worth seven, eight hundred thousand. Well, if he was, he was. I mean, seven, eight hundred million. I said that wrong. He, he was weight eight, seven, eight hundred million, still getting secondhand females from other niggas that already. So, what is his mindset at? But then, uh, but it just goes a little extensive. He gets his bags, even if it is his bag. He drags her. He stops dragging her. He just got a lot going on on this dang video, and, man. And, and 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 it don't show the film. It don't show nothing that it shows that after he dragged that she came out, she went back in and him, and they was messing around. Now they don't show that. They don't show. But he's correct in terms of they didn't break up after this, and they broke up about two years later. But he's incorrect to say that after that particular instance and moment, Cassie went back into the hotel to have intercourse with Diddy. It's just not true. As a matter of fact, Cassie would actually write in the lawsuit that she was able to escape the hotel, but she went back to the hotel because she thought, bro, like it's going to get worse later. But when she got back to the hotel, the security told her, yo, you got to go. Like, yo, we seen like the footage of Diddy beating you up. And we believe for your safety, you have to go because it's going to get worse if you come back. So I don't know like where he's getting this particular information from, but it's just not accurate or correct. But, but yeah, they did get back together. We know they got back together. It ain't, it ain't like she, because she got caught slipping and got her ass whooped for her. He made up to her. And then, shit, he should have let her have $130,000. He ended up having to give her $30 million. Yeah, he ended up giving her thirty million, but I just, I, you know, the way he was dragging around, though, he, he, I don't, you know, I don't think no man needs to be putting his hand on no woman. E -E, now tell the truth, man. You from the street? You done seen men whoop a bra's ass? I done seen it a lot of times. Now it wasn't excusable, but I definitely seen it. I can't speak with as certainty that he's speaking with, cause he's speaking as if. Yo, she got caught slipping, got her ass whooped. This, yo, he's speaking as if it's absolute fact. So maybe he knows something that I don't know. But from my perspective, from my expertise, I believe that Cassie uh, stealing Diddy and getting whooped is just an excuse. I think Diddy is a monster. I don't think Diddy needed barely any reason to beat up Cassie. I feel like Diddy was one of them dudes, bro. He woke up. He's a narcissist. He's a sociopath. Uh, he, you know, like he, you know, he got on a power trip. He's a control freak. Any one little thing that he can't control about her, bro, he start whooping her, bro. That's what I believe, right? That's what I believe. I don't believe at all whatsoever that, you know, like that Cassie gave Diddy a reason to whoop on her, man. But maybe I'm wrong, right? But at the end of the day, this is all a mystery and we still don't know. But speaking of mysteries, click on this video right here to find out about the mystery surrounding this huge Dijon Paul and Adam 22 and no jumper drama. Click on this video right here to find out what I'm talking about. I'm out of here, folks. Peace.